PDF to SketchUp. Let's first open the PDF file that they sent you. Google convert PDF to AutoCAD. This way your PDF gets converted to a DWG or AutoCAD file. Download that AutoCAD file and open it to check if the lines are okay. In this case, my lines are not okay because it's doubled here in SketchUp when we import the drawing file. As you can see, when we zoom in, the single lines turn double. In that case, I would group non-wall components and group the walls as well so that I can use Adebayo push line to push them up vertically and stack them together as the first and second floor. Now in Windows 11, I need to see my reference, so just hover over the Minimize and Maximize and set your screen into 2 in case you don't have an extended monitor. In this case, we're just modeling the facade as we see it and basing the proportions from our line of sight. Be sure that your section planes will show the plan, but if it doesn't work, we can fix them out and lay out later. So make sure to get the important opening details such as our doors and windows which will have reflective glass and our ingress and egress of the 3D facade. Intersect group planes to remove unwanted objects and proceed with your render. Now just the reflections are okay and let's proceed to our vicinity map. Using the simple stroke tool we can remove patterns and fills to show landmarks, rivers, buildings, indicate your famous landmarks in a 2 km radius, group your vicinity map, and arrange your cover page. Since this is a ready made template, our floor plans and elevations already have been imported, and the things we want to lay over we can do and lay out so we don't have to keep going back to SketchUp as this was an AutoCAD drawing that had a glitch with double lines. Things that you have learned in volumes 1 and 2 by dragging and dropping the templates ready made in your tutorials. This way you can save time, effort, and have snacks in the movies with your family. A friendly reminder is to always lay your, your tags together, your dimensions together, and your column grid or index keys together. So any revisions made later on will be a lot easier than starting over again. Use the second method, 3D to 2D, copy pasting windows into layout. Multiple selection allows you to make an elevation for the front or the side Right click, align, and space also sets them in layout for a better view. This way you're done with your architectural in less than a day. Export to PDF, send it over, and you're done. This is the PDF to SketchUp workflow.